The uh, third truck on our walk around tour I was actually very happy to see. This is a uh, Wexford Volunteer Fire Company from Wexford PA's Sabre. You can see it's a Sabre. Sabre cabin chassis, puck pump design with a Repto. And uh, as we stand here, I'll go through a couple of the Repto features. I'll pull back. That black tube you see in front of, in, directly in front of, uh, in front of you, is the tube that hides the drive shaft that connects the Repto, which is on the back of the engine, to the input of the pump. Those green tags that you see directly below those green tags is the speed increaser gearbox that actually drives the pump. Attached to that is the gear case and clutch assembly. Clutch assembly is right here. That's the clutch assembly. And then you have your impeller assembly right back here. This particular truck has a 1500 GPM pump. Puck design. One of the neat, nice unique features of a puck is that you can have pump and roll all the time. And it also shortens your wheelbase and allows for up to 40% more compartmentation space for a given wheelbase. I was excited to see this truck here because I haven't seen too many Sabre pumpers, uh, Sabre puck pumpers yet. And this has a few unique features that I'll uh, try and highlight as we go through. This particular truck is feature features an ISL uh, Cummins engine along with an Allison transmission. The Cummins ISL is uh, available up to 425 horsepower and it's got an Allison uh, 3000 series transmission. You see your side intake and discharge as well as your very low cross legs. Uh, only a few inches above, uh, above the frame. So you have two cross lays right above the frame and then a two and a half above that. On the body, this particular body has the ladder stored in the interior passenger side, which limits the, up, the upper compartment depth uh, to 12 inches on the passenger side. On, a, on the opposite side, as you'll see, is full depth compartmentation. We're standing at the back of Wexford's truck, as you can tell. There's a few unique features on this particular unit. They took the hose bed side sheets, which, the, which you, get, you see is the hand, where the handrail is attached on each seat, and they took the side sheets and that moved them to the extreme outboard side so that we had full width hose bed at the rear. Obviously, they carry quite a bit of hose. And then we have the ladder, the requisite ladder to climb up to the, climb up the rear. As you can see by the compartment that's open, that's where the ladders are stored. And then there's a pipe pole compartment above that as well. Fairly unique feature having a booster reel in the rear compartment. We don't see too many of those these days. And we also have a the fold down Pierce fold down tailboard, which allows for a much shorter overall stance and uh, avoids the rear tailboard from being torn off. Here's the pump panel for Wexford's uh, puck pumper. You can tell very cleanly laid out. It's got a Husky 12 foam system, uh, some flow meters, nice key, a nice setup with four flow meters. Again, this is the driver's side of the Pierce Puck pump. Uh, the aluminum uh, hydraulic pump you see attached to the front of the drive case right there is the, the hydraulic pump for the foam system. And then you can see where, you have, where they have one of the flow meters that was shown on the pump panel. It's right here. All with all stainless steel plumbing. 